What is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another video, man. Today's video, we're gonna be working on. Oh, you seen it already? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it already. Well, parts have been coming in, and uh, this is, I think, a 10 or 11 inch push spout fan, and uh, I got some hood spacers, and I got some push pins for the bumper, so I can make my bumper quick release, which this is gonna be pretty helpful. Cannot wait. But let's t attack this first. This is going to be the biggest part of it because I got to take all this off. And uh, while I'm at it, I found a leak in the radiator. So I'm going to be fixing that with some. Uh, this, is, this is a full rad. This is a 05 EP3 rad. It's plastic. I'm going to be using some JB Weld at the, uh, the coolant temp sensor that I, that I used just to cover up the bottom. All right, so I got it draining down there. Took that off. Pull this off to the side. All right, so I got one the passenger side fan off, and I got the driver side fan off. <sighs> Time to pull off this hose clamp, the bottom hose clamp. I made a big mess. <laughs> I had to use Speedy Dry because it was getting a little out of hand. Well, I guess I got to get cooling now. That's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take these two hoses off. Then take the two tens off. The rad comes up. And I'll show you guys what exactly what I'm talking about. All right. That is my issue right there. I already tried using Honda Bond. <laughs> and as you can see it's a pretty shitty job so um i'm not gonna scrape none of this off i'm actually just gonna add on to it as uh stupid as that might seem oh well either way uh if worse comes to worse i'll just get a new radiator but um it's honestly not the radiator it's leaking from the sensor so where the radiator meets the sensor in between i stripped this i'm not gonna lie Tighten it down because the threads were plastic. So when I was tightening it down and I stripped it, I was like, fuck, what the hell am I going to do? Um, I just thought of this. It was a simple fix. And uh, yeah, here we are. Just, uh, back at it again, trying to fix it. But this time we're going to use JB Well plastic bonder. See if this works. See if this holds up and go from there. All right, so I went ahead and I put... The JB Weld on, did a nice thick coat all around. That is honestly probably never going to leak a day in its life. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, the radiator is pretty beat up, man. I ain't going to hold you. I mean, it's not, it's just the, the little like fins in the middle. They're not where the lines are, so that's the best part. But uh, I have do plan on upgrading soon, so this is just a temporary fix, man. I just want to get the car running. Operating temp, the whole nine, get the car tuned, and then I'll just keep fixing it. But now on to the best part. Um, Spout fan versus the eBay fans. I'm not going to lie to you. I could I could never put these two fans back again, and I can run on this one fan. But me, uh, how I am, I'm definitely... Gonna be running the spout fan with one of these fans. So a quick little side by side comparison. Um, I off rip, the weight on this is a lot heavier than my slim fan. Um, it's smaller. It's a ten. It's no. It's actually yes. Yeah, I think it's a ten. I ordered an eleven off a of tri off a of tri state, but on the code that's the the part number. So yeah, this is going to go on this side. Keep my temps down. And I'm still going to have this fan. But either way, nice side-by-side -side comparison. All right, boys. So uh, what I did was, I, all I did was run zip ties through, through the fans. Um, just to have it sit more flush. I'm going to try this. I'm going to ground this. See if this these fans turn on, which is easy. I have a wire loose already. Um, 
I swapped out my lower holes for um, a Mishimoto one that I custom made. This was actually supposed to be a, a top radiator hose. And uh, I cut it out. So this is my old one that I custom made. So I just want to see if this one holds up a little bit better now that I have the swivel neck. Um, let me go ahead and just drop this in and see what's going on. All right, got the fans plugged in. You guys hear the fans, so. All right, boys, radiators in. It's crazy how the spout fan like sits so flush. Um, all right, so I screwed up on the no on the bottom hose. Uh, I put the flex hose back in and I cut it just a little bit too short, literally. Um, I took off one, two, six. I was maybe supposed to do four for it to sit perfect. Uh, so now I got to get another lower hose and fix that. <laughs> but you know what? It is what it is. Honestly, I, I don't care. Um, if I don't want to fix this, my only alternative is going AN lines. And honestly, I already got the fittings and the hoses. I just need a radiator set up. So I'm very, very close to punching. Like... Like, pulling that trigger, to be honest with you guys. But, um, this is going to be the end of this part. There's going to be a couple parts to this series. Well, not it's not even a series. Uh, it's more of, like, this day or this video. Um, just because it's 11 o'clock at night and I got work in the morning. <sighs> I'm going to tackle this next. And the hood space is on one, two, three. So, so I don't lose nothing. Put this back on the valve cover. But, I mean, yeah, it looks it looks a lot better now, I guess. All right, boys, this is part two of the same video. Today, we're going to be doing one of these two. And I picked up a new bumper and a new driver's side fender. So now I don't have to rock with a primer fender. I could use that. Have that get sprayed, match the car, and we're going to be good from there on that end. Um, I have to make an AutoZone run to get another lower hose. I changed it. I, I ended up going back to the flexible one. So what I what I did was, and I think in the, I explained in the last clip, but whatever. Um, I cut it too short. So I'm going to go back and recut the same one. But that one's going to be a little bit longer. So that's what I'm going to be using. It's going to be um, that hose right there. And uh, I'm going to start with the, the hood spacers. Because honestly... I have not closed this hood once. <laughs> so I just want to see if that makes a difference, if it helps out with the angle or what. But all right, this clip's too long. All right. Got him in. Not bad. Now let's see how it closes. Fresh Honda Bond. Your shop is not a shop or a garage is not a garage if you ain't got one of these. Sealed. All right, boys, you guys see the setup right now. You notice anything? Put the fender I got on. Finally, <laughs> she's about to be one color again. All right. So anyways, um, I had to take the fender off, but I did start on the quick latches for the bumper. 
So, um, I got these from eBay. It don't even matter where you get them from. They all pretty much do the same thing. So, all right. Well, this is the package that you get, right? Because the two nuts and the, and the button. So, pause. Uh, you want to get the rod that goes in all the way. But, well, you're going to have to adjust this anyways. So, this is the button. And pretty much all you're doing is this. Press the button, you're releasing it from here. Not on this side, not a washer on the other side. Boom. And then, now it's, this is the hardest part. The hardest part is you gotta drill, you gotta drill through your bumper. So I'm using the bumper that I got today because there's no way in hell that I'm gonna be using the, the one that came with the car that's all messed up. So I got my step up bit and let's, let's, uh, Actually, I got to find the markings first. So I'm going to go ahead and put some lube at the end of each corner. Put the bumper on. And wherever it touches is where, uh, that's where I'm going to be drilling in the bumper. So tell me why I went to go prep the bumper, right? And I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and put the lip on while I'm at it. Bro, why is this bumper fitting this lip so well <laughs> like yo this is clean bro i ain't even gonna hold you i ain't even gonna hold you this car is gonna have some crazy crazy fitment when it comes to like how everything flows now <sighs> now that i got an oe oe um fender my corner light flows so perfect <laughs> like this car is starting to come together and it's starting to look like a beast. I can't wait to see when it's when it's all all done. All right, so what I did to get the before I start drilling, I put a little bit of toothpaste on the edge so it could give me a mark on where I could start drilling. Before I start drilling, I gotta find like some type of tape or something to put on the other side for my bumper. All right, boys, so I did this side. Can't wait. Um, I had the perfect size drill, but honestly, Harbor Freight for the win. <laughs> but um, yeah, I gotta use this side to, to lock it down. But yeah, I'm pretty confident. It looks nice. Uh, what I did was I drilled through the back first. And, um, honestly, there was really no imperfections at all. Perfect hole. I drilled through the back, and I made sure I drilled through the front, too, to make it even. And, um, then I just slapped it right through. Called it a day. All right, so this is what it looks like roughly mocked up. Move this away so I can get better lighting. All right, this side is dialed in perfect. I don't need to adjust anything. When, it come, when I come to the driver's side, I just need to adjust it out a little bit more, a lot more, and um, I should be straight with that. But um, not bad, right, guys? That's fire. That's the thumbnail. All right, boys, so this is what it looks like. Clean. Woo! Look at the, yeah, look at the body lines, man. <laughs> this car is coming, it's coming together. Um, damn, I should have changed my, you know what? <laughs> what am I crying about? They quick latch. Uh, I'm going to see if I can go find my clear ones, my clear bumper lights. I think lastly, before I end this video, I'm going to go ahead and take this stripe off this fender that I got. Um, I did it with the rest of the car. Maybe when I first got it, that's why um, my mistake was I never washed the car after. Um, as you can see, I got like a little swirl marks and stuff, but um, all that stuff is going to get taken care of down the line. A um, couple washes, I know the swirls will be gone. Give it a nice buff um, and wax and stuff like that. But um, but on as for this fender, I am going to like, <laughs> I'm going to wet it after and, and wax it when I'm done. 
so the sorrels aren't there but um that's pretty simple prices uh you could get this from anywhere this is what i use I, I don't i forgot the name of it i'll leave it in the description though but um i know i got this off of ebay for like nine dollars and it did justice for me and by the way i don't know why i couldn't remember but it's, it's a pinstripe remover <laughs> all right and this is the final touch Y'all can't tell me that don't look clean, boy. Y'all can't tell me that don't look clean. <laughs> oh, man. All right. It's been one long video uh, combined with different days, man. I just want to say thank you to everybody who's watched all the way to the end. Picked up a few gems or two. Um, I really appreciate all y'all, man, for real. Thank you so much. Please do me a favor and subscribe. We're almost right there to the 1,000 mark. <sighs> when the 1,000 mark happens, I promise you it's going to be so... The channel's going to change completely because then I'll be able to go live with you guys. And uh, I'll be here chopping it up with you guys every single day or whenever I can. You know what I mean? Like two, three times a week. But it does not matter, man. You guys always know I'm always answering DMs, man. If you hit me up before at any time of the night, I've always gone back to you. Um, but either way, man, thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.